In this video, I'll go through how to add a large number of testing leads into a CRM. It seems like a bit of a weird thing to do, but I need to do it at the moment because I'm testing a round robin extension and I need to make sure that the numbers add up. Right now, you can see that they don't tally with what I'd expect. I'm expecting 20% to go to Hernan and 33% to go to test user. But in fact, we're getting, what, 32% going to Hernan and 68% going to the test user. What I'll show you is the process I'm using to add this many test leads in there. I'm using a tool called Postman, which is good for simulating post requests. I've got this API endpoint. You'd need to set up something like this as well, where I can pass an auth token, a name, company name, email address, phone number, record type, and it will then add a record into Zoho CRM. So you can basically use a payload like this, use your own endpoint, or you can use that one if you're super desperate. And then Postman has this excellent tool where if you save the request, you can create either a, a new collection or use an existing one. And I'll call this one so CRM insert records from Roku, that's where it's hosted. And then what I can do, I can click on runner. And then what I can do is choose the type, the collection, and use choose an environment. In this case, I've got my auth token in an environment to make it easy to use, but you can just hard code the environment. And then I'll put in the number of iterations, the number of records that I want to add, and then do start test. What this will do is it will start to add records into the CRM. It's actually going to, it looks like it'll do 200 because I've now got two collections in there, but you probably don't need that. You can see it is starting to add the records there on average taking between 1700 and 500 milliseconds to do. And I can check whether this is indeed working. I had 51 leads before. By now I should probably have another at least 20. Ah, there you go, another 70 have been added. And the way I've done it, you can see it's got a random number at the end of it, so I don't end up with duplicate records. The way I did that was using the dollars random int variable within Postman. There you have it. That's a potentially useful way if you need to do some high volume testing of your CRM. That's how you might do it.